so next on our agenda, and, and we, we don't have to spend a ton of time on this, but I think it's a really interesting topic to address because Rebecca is here with us tonight. She published an article on Victor's Village recently about race and how race factors into casting and how people have been getting really pissed off about race and, and racist casting choices. So if you haven't read her article, um, I'll just quickly pull out a couple of quotes. So I think this actually stemmed from conversations about Kristen Bell as Joanna Mason. A lot of people want Kristen Bell to play Joanna. Um, she's a huge fan of the books. But people have been saying that, and, and I don't even know where this is coming from, but people have been saying that it would be racist to cast Kristen Bell as Joanna um, because she's blonde and blue-eyed. And a lot of people think that Joanna is Hispanic um, or Latina. But I'll get back to that in a second. But um, she also mentions people who still believe the casting of Jennifer Lawrence was racist um, because they believe that Katniss was Native American or um, Latina in origin or, whatever, or something like that. Um, there are still people who think that Lenny Kravitz was like a token casting because Cinna is definitely not black. He's definitely white, um, which is kind of a, a sort of a racist angle to come from. Um, and what she said about Joanna is that people are saying, I think, that because, and I don't know who said this, maybe it was Tiffany, but um, a lot of people just assume that Joanna is, is Hispanic in origin um, because she's, like, kind of sassy and, and a little sarcastic and bitchy, which I don't really get. But, um, yeah, so I just wanted to see what, what people think about about the whole race thing. Like, can we put this to bed for once? Um, and, Rebecca, maybe you can explain a little about, about what brought on this article, because I probably just did a terrible job of it. <laughs> no, I just – I saw what, what Tiffany was, was tweeting about, and I asked her about it, and I just – went from there and just remembering things that I read before a few months ago or, or conversations I've actually had in person with people. Like, I was at a wedding of a friend a few months ago, and uh, a friend of the, the bride was had just read the book, and P.E.W. Um, had just come out with Josh and Liam on the cover, and he didn't know that I was really big into the fandom, so we were having a conversation. He said, well, I don't like that um, Liam or Gail look Native American. So I went with that thinking all of the things that I've seen other people saying, that they want, they wanted someone who looked Latino or Native American or Italian-looking, to play Gail, and here's this person who who's not even aware of all these these problems, so to speak, is saying, "Oh, I don't like that he looks the way that everybody wants him to look." And then, like um, someone once pointed out that that this specific casting call for Katniss was Caucasian, but I think it's been put to bed because even Suzanne Collins. I said, you know, look, she, she's white. I mean, she can't. Her, her mother and her sister have blonde hair and blue eyes. I mean, right? How yeah, how do you how do you how do you justify that? Like their their last name too, Everdeen. I mean, Everdeen. It, it's an Irish name. And like you said, you mentioned in this article, some of us have friends who have olive-toned skin who aren't Latina or Native American. Some of them are Jewish, Muslim, et cetera. And that's true. I mean, I think it's unlikely that she is not Caucasian simply because her mother is obviously white and so is Prim. And, of course, that's when you get into the theories about um, Prim not being Mr. Everdeen's daughter. But yeah. that's a crackpot theory for another day. I think we've already talked about that one, actually. Mm-hmm. But um, I just want to yeah, say I... one comment about the Irish last name. Um, you all know Shaquille O'Neal. You don't have to be an NBA fan to know that. A lot of Irish last names circulating around the African-American community. Just throwing that out there as 
<laughs> little bit of a ha, ha, funny ha, thing ha. Stuff. Well, I think in so, that in that region of the country, isn't there a strong Irish presence, or am I totally yeah. making and that up? I, I read up on that, and it's a strong Scotch Irish community that emigrated there in I think the late late um, 19th century. Yay, Wikipedia! <laughs> yeah, I mean, my my personal thoughts are, I mean, I I'll be honest, I I tended to picture her as much darker um, in complexion, maybe sort of Mediterranean or, or possibly Native American. But, you know, I don't think it's worth raising a stink over because Suzanne Collins endorsed Jennifer Lawrence. And, I, you know, I don't think she would have done that if she was totally opposed to um, to her playing Katniss. Plus, Suzanne Collins made it clear that Rue and Thresh are African American. So, you know, if she was going to be so um, sort of emphatic about their race, you would think that if she had had something else in mind for Katniss, she would also have been sort of very forceful about about that casting as well. Um, But, yeah, as far as the Joanna thing goes, I think that if people are thinking she should be played by a Latina actress because she's, like, sassy and has attitude, that is really messed up and weird. Um, so that's all <laughs> I have to say about that. People are, kind of the way you view too. characters, you, you're reading into your own stereotypes. Like if you're casting Johanna is Latina because she's sassy or you're casting Cinna is gay because he's a fashion designer, you really need to, to check yourself and kind of look at what you're basing your assumptions on. Is it something that's written in black and white or is it your own personal biases coming out and how you're seeing these people? <laughs> exactly. Well, look, we have a lot of diversity in our own fandom, even among people on this show. Um, I don't need to go into everybody's races, but I do want to say, uh, Rebecca, and this is kind of a question for you, were you inspired mm-hmm. to write this race card article because you have felt persecuted as someone who's ginger haired. <laughs> uh, well well, I'm actually not a natural ginger, but I am Jewish, so <laughs> I would think I would be more persecuted on the Jewish front than the ginger. 